tell you all, we're going to be uh, changing the gear oil in our Volvo SXM outdrive today. This is going to be a two-part process because I have to actually replace the uh, prop shaft seal. So I'm going to do the, the drain procedure, then I'll do the fill procedure uh, probably another day. So this is actually a Volvo SXM. And if you're not sure what kind of Volvo you have, you can look at right here. <clears throat> there is a tag that'll show you the serial number, the ratio, as well as model number. And there's three uh, items we're going to be working on. The one is the drain plug right here. Two is the, f um, the fill level, which is behind this plastic cover. And three is the dipstick tube at the top. So we're going to drop it down and start draining. synthetic gear oil. This is actually part number 114679. It's about $28 a quart. Very, very expensive, but don't cheap out. Get the good stuff, then you don't have this thing coming apart on you. And also, I want to mention the screw underneath, right down here. It's a flathead screw. And if you're having trouble getting it off, don't booger it up, as you can see in my pictures. There's a tool called an impact driver. And this it puts a regular 3/8 socket, and you can put a straight blade on there. And you put that in the in the slot, hit it with a hammer, and what it does, it holds the screw in there or the driver in there as it turns the screw. You might need this. Don't bugger that up. It's expensive. And you might, if you ever worked on old Hondas, this is what you needed to get the side cases off. The Phillips screws that hold the side cases on, you've never get off the Phillips screwdriver. Have to use this tool. So, we're going to pull the bottom drain screw out. And remember, don't bugger it up. As you can see in the pictures, it's easy to do. Oh, look at that. 
know there's water intrusion in there. When it looks like that, that is milky. And you'll notice on this screw, there's a little nub sticking out. That is a magnet. So if you see a bunch of metal on this magnet, you know you have troubles. You know you're going to be in trouble because gears are coming apart inside. And all these items also have an O-ring, which I am going to replace those. I do not use old O-rings. So that is definitely bad. Each water has water has gotten. It's my uh, accent. Call it water. This contamination is not good. That means water is getting inside. That's why I'm replacing the prop shaft seal back here. But that is ugly, so I'm going to have to research that. I'll probably pump through what's left of my last change of the gear oil I had here. I'll pump it into the trough, try, try to force everything down, and uh, hopefully get some of that out of there. I want to get it running as clean as possible. Uh, that's not going to do your gearing any good. Okay, got my old synthetic that I had from the last oil change I did. I'm going to pump it into this hole here. This has a different thread than the other than this one, as well as this one. The lower one as well as the intermediate are one of the same, same size spread, same over and they both have magnet, magnets on their drain plug. So I'm going to pump this in, hope to see regular oil come out the bottom. these things to pump fluid in from the bottom you got to get one they're uh, inexpensive seven eight bucks Walmart Amazon I'm going to let this run and drip overnight. I'll put the plug back in, <clears throat> pour out the drain pan in case it rains so it doesn't overflow, and just let this drip all night. Because I don't like this. This is the first time I've ever seen it. No, it might not be as bad as I thought. <clears throat> This oil has a color like this. Last time I changed this, it was black as coal. But I think the people that had it before never did anything. Never changed it, so yeah, it was black. Well, let's see what it looks like. doesn't look that much different. It is a little bit. But again, gonna let this drain all night. Hopefully I can make sure the water is out of it. Cheers. All right, got everything flushed out, ready to fill her up. I have uh, my bottle on the bottom, 
with the special adapter fillet from the bottom. Also have this hole right here. I pump it till fluid comes out of here, shut it off, and I have the top one loose for air bubbles. So we're going to pump this full, um, flush it out best I could. Looks like it's running clean and using this oil right here has to say synthetic gear oil 7590 part number 1148 uh, it's 114679 make sure you have three of these because it takes uh, a little over two to fill the SX drive so gonna start pumping till it comes out that hole put my uh, paper towel there to catch anything that drips out gonna be using new o-rings on all the plugs well, start pumping <laughs> 